Okay guys, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is DET 121, Digital One. Today we're going to discuss adders. Remember way back when, when we discussed binary addition, not Boolean addition. So let's talk about, refresh our binary addition. So zero plus a zero, that's a zero. Zero plus a one, that's a one. One plus a zero, that's also a one. One plus one in binary addition is one zero. Okay, so a little bit different. Uh, this number and this number, if you could think of these as well, this one right here, that's the sum. Well, let me write the sum how it's supposed to be drawn. Sum, and this right here is the carry out. If you remember, one and one, one plus one, it's going to be a zero there, and we've got our carry out of one. If we kept on, if we we're adding a bunch of a bunch of numbers there, and that would just drop down in this case. Okay, so you could make a truth table: a b sum carry out, where all instances of a b would give you the following instances. Well, sum we've already got our quasi truth table. Oops, <laughs> need to copy it right. Our quasi truth table already started because remember now one and one our sum bit is zero but our carry bit was one our carry bit in all our other circumstances was a zero let's take the easiest one carry out well that looks exactly like an and of a and b okay what does this guy look like well it's not one of our basic gates and an or and a not but it is one of our I guess like our second level gates. I don't know what to call it, but it's an exclusive or of A and B. This one will generate the carry out. This one will generate sum. So what you can do is you can string them together like this. And there is your basic half adder. You can also replace that symbol. Uh, basically, it's the exclusive or hooked up with the and. See these dots here? That means they are connected. And notice how the A line crosses over the B. There's no dot, so it's not connected. Um, what you, you've got here is two inputs, A and B. You've got two outputs, sum and carry out. That can be replaced with this logic symbol right here which is just a box with two inputs, A and B, two outputs, sum and carry out what's inside the box. This guy right here, an exclusive or and an and, okay? And that's what's called a half adder. Okay, so let's talk about a full adder. A full adder also has a carry in input. So it's not just A and B, it's also carrying in uh, something. So if you could imagine something, remember we're talking about binary addition here, something some numbers right here let's say there's a one and a zero here you know that's the a and b for that column but check this out it's got a carry in here so if you could imagine a full adder is taking into account for something that's being carried in okay so let's just draw and again we can even though it's binary addition we can draw kind of a truth table that would give us all instances of a and b and carry in and our sum and carry out. So what are those gonna look like? Here, let's just draw a truth table real quick. So there's all possible occurrences of A, B, and our new carry in. So zero plus zero, when there's zero carry in, we would expect a zero sum and a carry out of zero. Um, and now when it's just a column of zeros, but there's one carry in, so you would expect a one there. And A, plus b zero plus one is one and then the carry out would also be a zero and now we've got a plus uh a plus b zero plus one that's also going to be a sum of one but we've got our carry in now um excuse me guys sorry about that jump the gun on that so zero plus one is one plus one is one zero so you're gonna have a zero for our sum carry out of one okay now uh, we've got a plus b one plus zero with a zero carry in you're just gonna have a one with a zero there and then you're gonna go ahead and 
1 plus 0. That's a 1 ordinarily, but then you have this 1 carry in. So what you're going to get is a 0 sum carry out 1. And now you've got a 1 plus a 1, which is, and then a 0 carry in. So it's going to be 1, 0. So sum 0 carry out 1. And now here's our situation where it's a 1 and a 1 together. So it's normally a 1, 0. But then you add a carry in of 1. So that's going to be 1, 1. So our sum would be 1. Our carry out would be 1. You can easily transpose the sum and carry out here. I'll just go ahead and do that. And there you go. Basically, what you're getting here is now the carry out when it's presented in front of the sum is the binary uh, answer. So when, let's just go down to the kind of cut into the chase here, 1 plus a 0 is uh, a 1 ordinarily, but then you're adding a 1 onto it in the form of the carry in, you would expect 1, 0. There it is, 1, 0. Okay, same thing down here. Uh, when it's all when they're all ones coming in, whoop. I don't know if you saw that go blank. You know, if you think about this one. In this case, we're talking about this column, this bottom column. You'd expect one plus one. That's a one zero. Plus this other one, one one. There it is, one one. Okay, so that's a full adder. You basically, uh, you've got to go ahead and take into account a carry in now. Okay, so if you go ahead and if you think about this, there's there's a bunch of different ways to do this. We can uh, nest our half adders. Um, if you think about this, what you could what it would look like is half adder. Here, let's say feeding into another ad, half adder. Let me go ahead and draw that. And there it is, a, as a full adder represented with two nested adders. Basically, this A and B is our inputs, and now they're being fed to the A and B on the half adder, and the sum is going to the A of the second adder, but the carry out is being ORed, and now we'll talk about what it's being ORed with, and now our carry in is being fed to the B of the uh, second half adder, and our sum of the second half adder is our sum out. And now what our carry out is being fed to is the or gate right here. So that's the basically the, the carry out from the first adder is being ORed with the carry out of the second adder, and that's our carry out. Ultimately, what you would look like is basically you can just replace those nested half adders here with a a single full adder, which looks like this. And all it is is the same box symbol where there's an A input, a B input, and a carry in. And then there's an output of a sum and a carry out. So what is inside that full adder box? Well, this arrangement right here. What's inside those? Well, it looks like this here. It's basically, if a half adder looks like this guy inside there, each one of those half adders is going to look like that, and you could draw it out so it looks like this. And actually, I'll just take it step by step. So the sum is basically the exclusive OR A, A of, of A and B here. So that was A exclusive OR of B. And what's coming out here in the second nested exclusive OR, it's, well, the input of the first one, exclusive OR with a carry in. And that should be our sum. Okay, and then what is our carry out? Well, it's our ands. Let's draw those. And there you go. It's basically this guy is A and B. And this guy, what is this one? Well, it's carry in anded with the exclusive or of AB. And those guys are ORed together to give us our carry out. Okay, let's take it even one.